Two babies chat in the womb of a pregnant woman. One of them is a believer and another one is a non-believer. Do you believe in life after birth? Yes, certainly. It is clear that there's life after birth. We are here to become strong enough and ready for what lies ahead for us. What nonsense! There can't be life after birth. Can you imagine what that life would be like? I don't know all of the details, but I trust that there will be more light and that we might even walk and maybe we will eat with our own mouths. What rubbish! It is impossible to walk and to eat with a mouth. It is comical. We have an umbilical cord which feeds us. You know, I want to tell you, it is impossible that there's life after birth because our life is an umbilical cord and it is already too short. I am sure that it's possible. Everything will be a little bit different, but we can imagine it all. But it's a fact that nobody ever came back from there. Life simply comes to an end with birth. On the whole, life is a pointless misery in darkness. No, not at all. I don't know precisely how our life after birth will be, but in any case, we will see Mum and she will take care of us. Mum, if you believe in a mother, then where is she? She's all around us. We exist inside of her and we owe it to her that we live and move about. Without her, we simply can't exist. Total nonsense. I don't see any mum, so it is obvious that she simply doesn't exist. I can't agree with you. In fact, sometimes, when all the things around us are calmed down, it is possible to hear her as she sings and to feel her as she caresses our world. I firmly believe that our genuine life will begin only after birth. What about you? As for me, I don't mind it here. All I want is to settle with some comfort in this place and then let it be what shall be. We shall live and we shall see. As to what you say about singing and caressing, that is the law of the intra-womb world. But the world in itself can't sing so beautifully. Listen to the words of this song. Listen to how Mum calls us with her love. And what is love? We live here with you and we get on. That's good. It's possible to live creeping around in darkness, but I speak to you about light, about the time when we will see light and with our first cries we shall come to Mum and start crying in front of her because we have caused her pain and then with gratitude we shall join the new world. Can't you see what Mum has prepared for us, screaming and crying, and I should still thank her for it, but it will give us strength to survive, despite such a bright light. And for what do I need such a bright light, and to survive as well? So that we shall live eternally, and not die. It can't be that Mum bore us for death, can it?